Now, one of the very first companies that I worked with way back when my YouTube channel just started, and when I say way back, I'm talking like two and a half, three years. Anyway, was Foxtrot Mike. It was actually one of the first nine mil rifles I think that I think that I had ever got. So it was it was pretty exciting. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. They've come out with a ton of versions since then, and I've reviewed I think pretty much just about all of them. Anyway, this is the newest one that is uh, AIM surplus exclusive. It's a 16 inch barrel. It's got MTF furniture on it. Anyway, I wanted to check this out and see how this performs. Let's check it out. I'm Drew Case, welcome to Beyond Seclusion where I only give you my honest opinion and it is what it is. Okay, so this is not the typical 9mm AR pistol that a lot of you are used to seeing me review that, that like to follow my channel. You know, this is a rifle, okay? So it is bigger, it's heavier, and you know, for a lot of folks, that's gonna be actually more more of their interest than the pistol, especially for those that don't want to mess with the whole pistol, brace, ATF thing. You know, if you're just looking for a rifle that's a nine mil, accurate and reliable, so you can have some fun, you got some distance, and with a 16 inch barrel with nine mil, you get some power out of it. Okay, before we do anything else, let's just take a quick look at the specs and tech. Okay, real quick, I just want to do an up close of Foxtrot Mike's new 9mm 16 inch, kind of an exclusive at AIM Surplus. This also comes then with AIM's ambidextrous fire select or safety, and then it also comes standard with their, I believe it's the SSTAT match grade trigger. It's got a three and a half pound pull, single stage. It is a nice trigger. I reviewed one of these years ago. I've had a couple. I really like them. And then as far as the mag release, this is all metal. It's not plastic. It's a nice big paddle here, and it's it's quick and easy. Then the magwell itself, and this is not new for Foxtrot Mike. I like it. It is a tapered, okay, beveled. It makes it easy to slide these in. It helps guide them in. And then Foxtrot Mike's lower receiver is just a solid, solid receiver. We're not talking lightweight here. This thing is just, it's heavy, um, but it's built like a tank. Okay, now this particular one has a newer, very slim handguard. And then up here we have these, I almost feel like rubber. I think maybe they are. Um, these hand grips. Okay, I really like these. If you don't like them, you just take them off. It also comes in with a muzzle brake you know, that was specifically design, designed for 9 mil, and I can tell you from shooting this, this thing has absolutely no recoil. Now, is it the brake? I'd have to take the brake off, which I'm not gonna, um, or is it the length of the barrel and the size of the gun? You know, either way, it has no recoil. Now, another thing that I really like on this, a feature, is the side charging handle. And this is different than other Foxtrot mic side charging handles that I have. This one is robust. It's solid. I almost forgot one of the most important features is it has the last round bolt hold open. And that is huge, like that. Okay, so what I've got on here for an optic is SIG's new Romeo 7S. I did a review on the 7. The S, I'm guessing stands for small. Anyway, I'm reviewing that simultaneously. I got this on here and I got it zeroed at 50 yards. I'm doing a break in. I break in all my barrels, guys, and season them. You know, it's a matter of opinion, but anyway, I get some pretty good performance out of my guns and some accuracy. Could be the shooter, could be the break in. Anyway, was getting some great groups with that. So now I'm back here at my CQB range. I just want to have some fun with this, see what we can do, how fast we can transition. Okay, let's just see what we got yeah. for groups here. Now, some of these lower ones, I was working on a 300 blackout. So I started up here 
and I dialed it down and then I moved up here and was getting some decent groups. And then the last one, I did five shots right there. There's one, two, three, four, and it's either five or five. That's, that's good enough for me. I wanna go bang on some steel now, get that barrel seasoned more, play it some distance, and then come back and we'll test some different ammo at the 50 yards here and see what kind of groups. We you know, ought to be getting close to 100 rounds by then. God, that is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Four rounds with that federal range ammo. Anyway, let's get back to the CQB range. Nice. I think I can do that faster. Let's do that again. Not bad, not bad, better. I gotta get my game on. Okay, I'm not used to the longer, I've been trying to reach out here, you know, which is when I shoot long distance with a rifle, you get a more stable platform. I'm gonna try choking up back here, kind of more what I'm used to with, you know, the short pistols, see if that does anything. <laughs> yeah it's an addiction i can't stop this is why somebody please get me an ammo sponsor <laughs> yeah i'd say it's working good guys hey folks if you're enjoying this review do you follow my channel would you be willing to help support the channel if it costs you nothing not a zip zero Hit that subscribe button. That does as much as anything, so hit that button. I just got a new webpage, Home of the Crazy Stupid Deals. You have to check it out. You will be shocked to see some of the deals that I find. You can now subscribe to be notified immediately when I find them. Cost you nothing. I did this for those of you that don't like Facebook. If you do follow Facebook, come check me out and follow me there too. If you ever shop on Amazon, simply go in through my links below in the description. Anything and everything you purchase helps support the channel going through my links and it costs you nothing. You can literally buy toilet paper and this helps support the channel. Check out my company picks, the companies I purchase most often from and find most of my crazy stupid deals on. Using these links supports the channel and keeps the reviews coming. While you're there, check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30 day money back guarantee. See for yourself what folks are saying about them. Bottom line, check out my webpage. Lots of good stuff there and doing so helps support the channel. Thanks for your support. I couldn't do this without you. Yeah, okay, well that is what it is. What I wanna do now is when the wind dies down because it's too windy to do anything other than back here in the CQB range. I wanna go back to my main range and we're gonna reach out at some distance and I know it's gonna be easy 100 yards with this thing is going to be simple you watch 200 yards i bet is going to be easy too let's check it out Nice. <laughs> you gotta love that. Let's go 200. Well, 
Okay, so now that I, we've got some rounds through it and we've seasoned the barrel, what I wanna do is go to my 50 yard range. I wanna use a bunch of different kinds of ammo, some different weight bullets and see what we get for groups, accuracy, and you know, maybe help you out, see which this likes the best. Okay, so there's the groups. You know, those aren't bad. Actually, that <laughs> the UMC one, that's surprisingly good. Um, I can't remember which ones was where. That's why I got the little picture here. Anyway, the bottom group there, that's the, that's Fiocchi as well. That's a nice one. Um, some of these, you know, it kind of surprised me they didn't tighten up a little more. Now, you got to remember that Zero was using my range ammo so you know that one actually is pretty dialed in so that would be the most comparable to the federal range ammo that i was using so there you go guys it is what it is you decide what you think um yeah uh, good shooter anyway i hope you found the video helpful be sure to like comment and sub guys i can't say it enough subbing helps more than anything until next time happy shooting remember to educate our young people to guns and gun safety and be a safe and responsible gun owner